I'm here to talk about something that many might not agree with. At this point, I think everyone not living under a rock has heard of AI. It's controversial, it's good, it's bad, but it's here. I set out a while back to see how useful it could be in doing things that interest me. As you can already tell on the channel, I love to build stuff, but don't always have time to draw out every detail, and sometimes I can't even visualize what I want. In this video, we're going to be using Dolly 3. It's a text to image generator. The more detail you add to the prompt, you're more likely to get an idea that you can act on. In order to show what it can do for makers, I'm going to do a series of builds based on the results from the text input there. So let's kick this off. First thing I'm going to do is make a couple headset stands. I tend to walk around with them on and then later without fail, I can't find them. Let's let AI design us a couple nice ones to try and build. We'll look at the results together and a few things to look out for. You can see here kind of it has some crazy ideas like this pole, where's it going? Um, this is feasible. That could work. This one could technically work even though the if you look at the plane, they're on a different plane and I don't know what these are. And then this one right here, like it's just a hovering. Not sure what's going on there. Let's see. Yeah, this one not so much. Oh, that is so dope. That one. That is cool, cool, cool. So part of this one is pretty basic. The back would probably take more time to draw than it would to actually cut on the CNC, but it's still a cool design. It's missing the peg that would hold the headset, but that's an easy fix. Maybe I'll build this in the future with the catchy title of World's Most Complex Headset Stand. So if you'd want to see that in a future video, let me know. So we're about to see the one I narrowed it down to to test this hypothesis. Can AI make you a better woodworker? I really liked this one design the way it split and came back together. And I thought this was the perfect one to try this out on. So let's try to reproduce this in real life. So I did a rough sketch and kind of kept with a dog bone on the top to hold the headset. After looking at it, I knew the verticals wouldn't have to go in too far since they were going to be glued. So I made the slots just short of the height on the bottom. That way the top would appear solid. Then I drew the sides to make sure the height was about 10 and a half inches. That covered most headsets I had. And make sure it looked similar to the picture. I'll discuss and compare the results at the end of the video. So let the build begin. I think this would be the way right here. Pretty sure this is the way. Yeah, there we go. A little messy, but I think that'll be good. Mm. 
Okay, so the next step is to sand this down to where it's perfect. Now this is where it's going to get tricky. I need to sand this down to where it comes to a point at the end of this. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. I'm thinking this slip in here and just kind of clamp it down. See, I was torn on this whether to do like a different color wood in there, but I think that'll be pretty good. It matches the AI drawing pretty well, which I'm trying to do. So we're just going to slather this whole thing in glue, excessive glue on this one. Since there is a little torsion on this, I want this to have plenty of bite. I'm not 100% sure this is going to hold. Ah, oh, man, I need to pull that up. Tweak this, put this on here. Pull it up some. There we go. That got it. Now that we've got that clamping pressure on there, let's get rid of this mess I'm already creating here. I'm gonna flip it over and make sure we've got plenty in here. got plenty of sawdust we can rub in here to make it look fancy. There we go.
So after some rattle can lacquer, it's time to see how this turned out and how it compares to the AI version. Dimension wise, it's a pretty close match, even though I had to add to the top so the headphones would stay in place. Leave a comment on how you would rate this compared to the original AI version of it, and what would you have done differently if you were doing it. Even though currently AI cannot physically make you a better woodworker, if it can help you think out of the box, it could possibly lead to you learning some new techniques. If you made it this far in the video, you might as well like and subscribe. And keep an eye out in the future for the second part of this series where I dig deeper into using AI for woodworking.